Hello, 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 boxing fans. Welcome to VC World. I like always say, if you're new to the channel, please click that like button and subscribe to this channel. And uh, if you're really subscribed to this channel, please click that damn like button. I'm gonna be, be support on the man. Yeah, I'm gonna support. So, um, <clears throat> I want to talk about uh, another day, Warrior Man and Effa Jagba. You know, both of those guys have sparred in the past. And I had, had to actually investigate on what happened in sparring when one of those two Nigerian uh, monsters, you know, you know, met in sparring. Like, I mean, according to the information I've gotten so far, and uh, the guy who gave me the very concrete information, incredible information, said that, listen, uh, another day, Warrior Man gave Ajabba hell in sparring. I mean, Ajabba could not handle the power of another day, Warrior Man, but of those guys are uh, worse and the win toe to toe in sparring. And also, he said that, listen, no one was able to withstand the power of Ajabba so they had to bring in another one you know no one was able to do that to withstand the power of Ajabba so I had to bring this guy in the Godzilla if you cannot pronounce his name uh, because a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of foreign guys cannot really pronounce or uh, like foreign names uh, for example the Americans they are very uh, not, they're not good in pronouncing foreign names, you know. Uh, just say, either you say, or not your day, what you mean, or you say, or knows, or you just say the Godzilla. That's that's his new nickname right now. He's currently being trained by uh, Mark Caicedo, the trainer of Luis Sotis, you know, and uh, that means he's in good hands. And Mark Caicedo is a very good trainer, in my opinion. I know that one has 16 knockouts, 17 fights, you know, let's say 18, but one wasn't, I mean, one wasn't listed here, in my opinion, that what, according to what I've been told. And, um, yeah, born in 1987, you know, he's a Nigerian, debut 2010, you know, he actually went to the Olympics, uh, the Olympics, you know, the same Olympic, the underwater won the bronze, bronze medal hat you know you know after after the olympics after he lost so uh he went back to nigeria and tried to rebuild his career but wasn't able to do so for because of lack of sponsorship you know it was no sponsor you know to to elevate his career his career so and uh he had to it came from a long way it came from a really, really long way and uh, what I've heard so far about him and Ajabba sparring, listen, he gave Ajabba hell. I mean, Ajabba, I mean, if you ask Ajabba about another what man or Apochi, they will tell you that this guy is a monster. You know, a monster. Watch out for the guy. I know, we know that his name is not out there yet, but just watch out because he will be fighting the same guy. Ajaba fought, you know, Rodney and others. And this guy, Rodney and others, gave Ajaba hell, you know, this guy. Look at him here, yeah, this guy. This guy gave Ajaba hell when they fought. Go look at the fight. Ajaba against Rodney and others, gave Ajaba hell. Ajaba actually, you know, messed him up, messed his face up because this guy was like bleeding all over the ring. You know, our jobbers, you know, gloves were feet up with blood and other stuff. But this guy kept coming for. I just wonder if another water man would do a much better job than a job I did. But nevertheless, um, I think he would do his job. You know, he knows that he has to win this fight by knockout and but in a in an impressive fashion. Because his power, according to what I've heard so far, is impressive. You know, I was the sparring of him and uh, Richard Akbejori, you know, Akbejori, another Nigerian everywhere prospect 
who isn't actually getting the recognition it deserves right now but i think uh it will be there lack of let's say inactivity is the reason why job uh Abu, Abu career hasn't really uh hasn't really uh exploded right? you know but hopefully it gets to be active son with a better uh, management and promotional company and then uh get his name out there so uh, another day what i mean aka the godzilla is six seven you know resides as worry in nigeria but right now he resides in the, in, in the u.s in the u.s you know right now he used to reside there but it's kind of, kind of inaccurate Best place, Sapele, Nigeria. Yeah, you know, now Sapele picking me this one. <laughs> you know, I saw people would be a uh, strong of this mountain, they're ready to do anything, they're ready to do damage. So, in fighting, Ronnie Hernandez on the 1st of June, that's the same day Joshua will be going up against Andres Jr. I think Joshua Fire will kind of overshadow his, his, uh, his fight against Ronnie Hernandez, but I still will cover it because I want to see his uh, career. You know get to the next level and uh, with the help of uh Heyman, bbc me and the pbc uh you know when is managerial nothing nelson uh ayala bogo told me about uh Heyman, uh signing him you know like son they're signed with he signed with Heyman, uh because he's the i'm a his advisor right now i kind of had some mixed no opinion but after after uh, 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 you know thinking about it you know uh, overnight i just feel like listen uh, right now no one can actually help him out other than a uh, hammer right now man i wish the zone can actually get in and the end can get in but <sighs> there's a time for that um but i just think that uh, a would do his job and uh, Ahima will try to promote him and Ahima matching him against this guy Aroni and others for the first time for his American debut he's you know it's tough like that means they really his trainer Ahima can said to really race him high you know and uh, yeah the power with the Jabba was just too good according to what I've heard so far and Ajabba actually wanted to face him and uh, they went in. When anytime they spot, they went in hard and uh, another day Warrior gave Ajabba hell. So even when I talked about another Warrior you know, I asked uh, Hedit Ogoke about him. Uh, she said, well, <laughs> he's a beast, a monster. Ajabba is a monster. So when two monsters collide, you know what happens luckily they are both nigerians so we are very very glad and proud of both of them i would like to see both of them get it on in the, in the future maybe after joshua retires and you know vacates the belt i don't know joshua said he still has like um 10 years in the game so i don't see joshua actually vacated any belt you know so that we actually make them want to fight for regular titles because i don't see anyone beating joshua right now I think that Honor de Warime, uh, you know, has a lot of experience, you know, as an amateur and as a pro, he's like 17 fights in already. But Joshua is just too skilled right now. But uh, this guy has power, but power cannot really um, cover you all, all through at the elite level. I have to say that Ajakba is learning so fast. I mean, his last fight against uh, Michael Valich was just impressive, you know. And uh, I'm worried, another what I mean, I'm going to see how he progresses, you know, a little 6-7, you know, 6-7, a monster is a giant of a man, a guy who actually was unlocked in the past because of lack of promotion, but right now, uh, he's signed to our uh, Heyman, our uh, Heyman is with, you know, when you sign to our Heyman, then you, that literally means you're, you're PBC, so, I feel Jagba, let's see yeah those guys they are monsters and uh when they spot you know according to what i've been told so far it was intense you know jabba even as powerful as jabba is could not hurt another warrior so that means that like uh, a warrior man has been so un un unlucky but jabba is uh, the younger guy 25 years old 
you know, and uh, the water mist is 30 plus now. Uh, maybe that can also play a part, but the water mist is still very much strong. We got a job by a training. Look at his jab. I like his left hook, you know, but has a very good left hook. His right, hand, his right hand. He doesn't really trade his right hand that much. Like he doesn't trade with, 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 with all, with all fours. He tries to. I don't know how it would be like if a Jabba just go wide on his opponent in his next fight, like what normally does. You know, I don't know how. I, I, I would be like. I don't want it to be a windmiller like the Until Water because I think it's too talented, too talented for the Until Water. Uh, look at nice one, nice one, nice one, nice training. He, see, Ajaba is a tank, just like already what it made. Both of those guys are tanks, you know. <laughs> so you, you can already imagine what happened when both of those guys met in, the, met in, in, in sparring. Like I know sparring is not refight, but according to what I've been told so far, you know, another what it made gave Ajaba hell, and Ajaba himself had to lay low against another what it may because he knows that another what it may carries a deadly a deadly a monstrous a monstrous power you know in his on his right hand uh his jab is very good and uh yeah uh, he's been unlucky so far but i think that he will get there he will get there he's being managed by um, nursing a yellow bobo and Malik Malik Neo. That's his, Malik Neo. That's, his, that's him right here. Malik, I know, I don't know how to pronounce his name. And nursing a yellow bobo, uh, the founder of uh, a PMG boxing, uh, a guy who has been doing a lot of good, you know, a lot of good work for Nigerian um, boxing. Uh, he's been trying to. To promote to to get Nigerian boxers out there, and uh, Wadime, he's uh, one of his fighters. You know, he also has uh, um, Olua Sheum Joshua Wahab. You know that guy is a monster. You know, I interviewed him once on this channel. I mean, Nigerian just Nigerians we are blessed. We are blessed. We should be happy. We should be happy. So glad. So go follow another Wadime on Instagram. You know, Nigeria be more support our home. Let's get his name out there right now. Let's get him out right now, big. You know, understand? Know that when the hype start, you know, growing, and uh, you guys will, you just guys will start joining the hype train. It's time to support an Anja Bosas right now, you know, because he deserves everything. And uh, I will definitely post this fight. His uh, US debut fight against Rodney and others. Uh, I'm not gonna actually post the clip. I don't know yet. Depends because PBC I kind of, you know, uh, kind of uh, focused on my channel right now. I mean, they looking for something, you know, that I that I, that I'm gonna do wrong and then phew, hit me from the back. You know what it is. You know what it is. They wanted to block my channel and of course remove it from YouTube. I I actually had to use my Mandula of Lingata to maneuver their tactics. You know. So I will be promoting our Ninja brother. That wouldn't stop me from promoting him. I just hope that uh, him does not attack me again. Because I also have my own trap set up. I know he's a, he's a, he's a godfather, you know, uh, in, of boxing in America. But I, I, I still have my own contest anyway. So like I said before, I just want to see Nigerian fighters do, do well. And uh, Ajagba and Honor de Wadime. You know what happened in Spari. <laughs> Another guy told me, said that what it may give Ajaba hell and uh, Ajaba got, got, like, he felt it. He felt the power. He's not, Ajaba is not scared of anyone, but when he felt the power of another what it may, he then realized that, listen, I'm not in here with an honorary every way. I'm in here with a monster. So I commend both of those guys and I salute both of those guys. I salute. LPMG uh, boxing management company. I salute them. I salute Nessie Yilabo. I salute Manik Malik Ma Manik Anya. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. So salute both of those guys and uh, thanks for you know for always supporting Nigeria boxing. 
so guys uh, like this video share and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel okay like this video share it and uh, don't forget to don't forget to subscribe like i've said before and uh, go follow me on instagram at boxing block center and as well on twitter at boxing block cheers everyone stay blessed